All right, good morning, everybody. It is the AM Icebreaker for Friday, March, what is today, the 29th? Uh, yeah, March 29th, uh, big weekend for me. Headed out to On It to do the barbell certification, the inaugural barbe barbell certification. I'm excited about that, as some of you guys know. Um, I've been, I think I've been on it for the launch of every course, except um, I think the original kettlebell course I wasn't at, <clears throat> but I was at the first course that Marcus taught, so that's kind of cool. Um, hope to see some of you guys out there. I know I know Sean, Sean Powers will be out there. I know uh, Mr. Rivera, Joaquim, I know you'll be out there, so looking forward to like reconnecting with all you guys. And I know a bunch of folks out there who I've been talking to exclusively through On It Tribe and, and Legends uh, up till now. <laughs> Um, yeah, you, uh, that I'll be meeting. So yeah, you, you on it, Trisman and on it legends folks. I'm um, excited to meet you as well. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys, uh, have equally exciting plans for the weekend. And if not, think about it now, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to um, keep yourself moving forward? Or maybe you're just going to take the weekend off and relax. No shame in that. All right. So let's get right to it. Um, got a, another question. Thank you guys for, for starting to send me questions. I really appreciate that. Um, it's le less of a rant for me and, uh, and, and it lets me know that, like, I can say things that I can talk about things you guys want to hear about. So let me, let me pull up the email real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, where is it? There it is. No, yeah, I just have it pulled up next time. Jeez. Um, all right, so this is from our buddy David. David was at my GDC talk. Thank you, David. And David writes, hi, coach. First of all, thank you for the great GDC talk. Uh, I left feeling really good. Well, thank you, David. That was kind of the, that, that was the point. I was hoping everybody would like, and, and I hope you kept doing it during the conference, too. I hope you kept doing all that stuff that I showed you guys because uh, that'll definitely take the edge off of those long days seated and, and long nights out partying. Yeah, I know how GDC works. I've been there. Uh, anyway. David's question is, so I've been I've been doing the, or at least what I think is what you showed during the course. Uh, David, uh, I will email you the Vimeo link to, um, to, to all the course videos, so you'll know exactly what to do. And let's see, David continues, how do I know if it's working? I definitely feel better, but is, is something else supposed to be happening? That is a great question. Okay, so yeah, because when I left off my GDC talk, what I told people was do this for a month and see how you feel. I didn't actually offer any sort of qualifier or, or, or you know, quantify or any metrics, which was probably poor on my part. But no, so, so Dave, if you remember the first thing we did, we did that kind of seated self-check where I had you guys kind of like, you know, twist and... That's uh, that. That's the first thing you can do. Um, see, you know, you know, see, do that probably every so often. Like maybe I don't know, maybe uh, you know, anytime you're just sitting at your desk or anytime you're just kind of hanging out seated, and just see if things feel different. And that's the thing. Like you, when when you do these things, even when you're doing like the uh, the kind of the the movement workout I showed you guys, be you you have to kind of be in your head and really cataloging how things feel so like you know when you're, when you're doing like the the say they say the, the neck movement you have to you know does it where do you feel it do you, i mean obviously you're gonna feel it in your neck but do you feel it anywhere else do you feel it like maybe back in your trap do you feel it down here like kind of sort of under your ribs you know which you might and <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to be feeling for all those things and see if see if it changes you know see if day on day or week on week things things are different see also if your you know if your range of motion is different you know i mean you know, like like maybe like the first time you do it, you can only um you know you maybe maybe you turn this far and then you start to hitch, but maybe like in two weeks all of a sudden you're turning you know this far without hitching. I mean, I, I you can't really see what I'm doing there, but um, what else? Uh, two uh, obvious sticky spots. You know when you're moving, what we, you know when you're moving around, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel like parts where you just where it just feels like it feels like like your tissue is kind of glued together. You know, like um, see if those dissipate. See if see if like you feel less of that pulling, less of that like kind of sticky feeling and um work with a you know you know work with somebody you know this is this is the thing we do when you know if you do online coaching like through me through me or, or through anybody or if you do or if you're doing proper movement coaching i know i know a lot of gyms now are offering like mobility work but it's it's very shotgun so what, what you want to do is make sure that when you get us you know when you when you go in during the intake for that you actually get screened whether it's uh you know like an fms type thing where they have you do like a squat like an overhead squat and a lunge and then and they kind of sort of catalog your progress as you go and that that's really the best way to do it is to you know go go work with a professional get screened have them actually give you a program and then where they te where we say test retest um and see you know see if those so you can actually see if those changes change. that's why we use screen that's another reason we use a screen is it's a set pattern that we can actually tell that oh okay so 
last time, you know, a month ago when I did this pattern, like when I did my overhead squat, you know, it looked like this and I felt this, but a month later, now, you know, it looks like this, you know, maybe like I, I can reach further overhead, I can squat deeper. So that's an obvious, you know, you know, obvious like change metric there. So that's that's how you do it. I mean, one, you, you know, use the self-check stuff that I showed you. And if you want, you know, David or anybody, feel free to email me and I'll send you more self-check stuff you can do. And too, like I said, work, you know, work with somebody, have somebody actually show you a screen and have somebody who, you know, you know, assess the screen every every so often. Um, yeah, so that's what I got for today. Thank you, David, for the awesome question. And uh, yeah, you guys send me questions. Uh, I, I like questions. I like answering questions. It's much much better than me ranting. So yeah, again, hope to see some of you guys out at the On Academy this weekend. And obviously, we'll be we'll be doing some some streaming from that. So follow me on Instagram. And cheers.